Today, we're here for the 2024 NBA Draft, where Michael Jordan will be restarting his NBA career in the modern NBA. We gotta start it off by checking out the draft lottery to see who gets the chance to draft Michael Jordan. And it looks like it's gonna be the Washington Wizards. MJ did spend some time with the Wizards towards the end of his NBA career, and now he's going to get a chance to do that again. With the first overall pick, the Washington Wizards, of course, draft Michael Jordan. And the Washington Wizards have been an absolute train wreck over this past season, so Mike is going to have his hands full trying to save this team. With the Wizards' only notable offseason pickup being Andre Drummond, I'm not sure that this team will be great in this upcoming season but if they can somehow make the play in or the playoffs that shows Michael Jordan is having no problem adjusting to the modern era. But without any more talking, let's get into Mike's rookie season. Season is wrapped, Luka Doncic took home MVP, and Michael Jordan took home Rookie of the Year. Number 23 averaged 23 points per night in his rookie season and added on four boards and five assists, along with two steals and a block. The efficiency was also great, 60% from the field and 53% from the three-point line. Michael Jordan also made all defensive offensive first team in just his rookie season. Impressive stuff from MJ. And he even led the Washington Wizards to the NBA playoffs. 41 and 41 on the season earned us the 5 seed. And in the first round, we've got the Charlotte Hornets. We've definitely got our work cut out for us. Our team is just not very good outside of Michael Jordan. Game one of the series is going to go to us. Game two also goes to us. Okay, MJ, what have you been doing in this series? In game three, he only put up 15 points. In game one, he had 29. Game two, he had 31. Overall, it has been a really good series. Almost 70% from the field for MJ. All right, let's see if we can get the brooms out and complete this sweep. We actually did. We swept the Hornets. Shout out to Michael Jordan, man. Incredible stuff in the first round. I did not expect us to make it out of there, but now we're in round two taking on the Atlanta Hawks. They've got their backcourt of Trey and DeJounte. They were the one seed, so I'm kind of scared. Game number one is going to go to them. We take game two. We win game three, and they win game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. Mike and the Wizards have the lead headed into the fourth, but the Hawks are fighting back, and this makes for a close game with about a minute to go here. We're down by three points. Atlanta has the ball, so we're going to need Michael Jordan to use that all defense first team defense to get some stops. DeJounte Murray going to the basket, puts up a layup and misses. It's rebounded by Poole. JP up to Johnny Davis. Davis pops a midi and knocks it down. Now we're within a point. Big bucket from Johnny Davis. DeJounte Murray trying to get in his bag against Jordan Poole. Murray to the basket on Poole. Great defense from JP. And Murray misses again. Johnny Davis bringing up the ball for Washington. He might just call his own number. No, he finds Corey Kiss and Kispert gets the layup to go. We're playing some great team basketball here in the clutch. We need one more stop though. Hawks are going to call a timeout and drop a play. That's their last timeout of the game. Sadiq Bey gives it into DeJounte Murray out of the timeout. I'm guessing Trey is fouled out because he isn't in the game. Murray, defended by Denny of Dia here, is going to get the screen from Okongwu. DeJounte's not getting anywhere, so he dumps it down to Okongwu in the post. Anyeka puts up a tough shot and he's fouled by Drummond. Drummond was playing good defense. There was no need to bail Okongwu out by fouling but Drummond did exactly that. First foul shot for Okongwu is good. If he misses one, we'll have a tie game, and he does. All right, we're gonna have a chance to take the last shot here and get the dub. I know exactly who the basketball should go to in the clutch. Get the ball to Andre Drummond and clear out. Nah, I'm just playing. Get the ball to MJ, man. Drummond gives it into Tyus Jones. Jones, defended by Murray here. Do not have Tyus Jones take the last shot, please. Oh my goodness, he's actually going to do it. He gets the screen from Kuzma. Not much time left for Jones. He passes it to Kuz. Kuz to the basket. Layup is good at the buzzer. The Kyle Kuzma game winner. You've got to be kidding me. They told Mike, go sit in the corner and let's have Kyle Kuzma cook. Kuz with the clean shot fake goes to the basket on Jalen Johnson. Lay as the clock expires. 
Oh my goodness, man, we did it. The big game five win. Michael Jordan with an efficient 20 in this one. And now we just need one more dub and we'll move on to the conference finals in Mike's rookie year. The Washington Wizards did it. A 16 point win in game six, 37 from Mike. And now we're moving on to the conference finals against New York. Michael Jordan going to the garden is going to need to get some buckets. Game one of the series goes to the Knicks. They also take game two and apparently we've met our match. We are down three to zero here. We are going to win game four, but we end up losing in five. Hey, this was a great run for Michael Jordan. The Wizards probably aren't going to crack 20 wins this season in real life and Michael Jordan just led them to the conference finals. Now it's up to the Washington Wizards to go out and get Mike some more help. Whether that's via free agency, the draft, they've gotta do something to get some more hoopers on this team. I think the Wizards heard my cry for help. They picked up Dante Exum, but with Michael Jordan up to a 91 overall, we should be set to maybe win 50 games. I mean, we won 41 with a rookie Mike, and now MJ's gonna take his game to the next level. We might do something special season is wrapped Luka Doncic another MVP of course but in other news Michael Jordan made all NBA second team in just his second season he averaged about 28 a night this year and man in the modern era Mike has been ridiculously efficient almost 63 percent from the field and the Wizards definitely took a step forward this season winning 46 games and I would say the reason for that is because we picked up Warriors legend James Wiseman okay I was kind of joking but he was actually hooping this season a nice little double double all right let's get into these playoffs round number one we got the Cavs what man how was this team the five seed they got Franz Wagner on a minimum contract this starting lineup is insane I have a feeling we're about to get cooked but maybe Michael Jordan can somehow carry okay we're up two to zero we're up three to zero okay the Cavs are kind of coming back okay they're really coming back Mike you can't blow a three to zero lead that would be a really bad look it looks like Michael Jordan is going to take down the Cleveland Avengers in round number one. 23 points for number 23 to close them out. And in round two, we got the Milwaukee Bucks. Dame time has turned into lame time. He's only an 86 overall. They've still got Giannis though. And I don't think Kyle Kuzma is stopping Giannis. So this is probably going to be tough. We're down two to zero. We win game three and game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. All we need in this one is another Kyle Kuzma game winner and we'll be in business. Also real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. We're getting really close to 30K. Thank you guys so much for all your support. But anyways, we gotta jump in this game five. It's close. We're down by five points here with about two minutes to go. Is that Andre Drummond in Milwaukee? He left us. All right, anyway, Giannis has the ball defended by Jordan. Oh, no! <laughs> Michael Jordan just got put on a poster. Giannis said, get out the way, little man, and went ahead and dunked on him. Down by seven here, and Giannis just ended Mike's career. We need Mike to answer. He's going to the basket for the layup. All right, great way to respond. Go right back at Giannis and get a bucket. Now the Bucks, they've got a huge lineup in right now. They've got Drummond, Christian Wood, and Giannis all in the game at once. So that size could definitely be a problem. Andre Jackson Jr. pulls the three and knocks it down. Oh my goodness. It is not looking good for us right now. Down by eight points with about a minute 30 to go. Mike's going to get the screen from James Wiseman. Jordan going to pull a mid-range and he misses. One more bucket and we might be done for. Giannis Antetokounmpo has it. He gets the screen from Dame. Giannis in attack mode. Going to the basket here. He's doubled. Still puts up the shot and misses. JP grabs the rebound. Pool gonna give it up to Tyus Jones. Jones to the basket on Dame gets the layup to go. All right, let's just put together a couple more stops, get some quick buckets, and we might have a chance here. Giannis onto the Kumpo as it. He swings it over to Jackson. Now the ball finds its way back to Giannis. Onto the Kumpo gets it poked away. Drummond secures it though. Now Andre's dribbling it. He's gonna dump it down to Andre Jackson Jr. and Andre's gonna dunk it home. The Andre to Andre pass. I think that's gonna do it. We're gonna end up losing in this game five Giannis only had 18 and we still lost Mike with 24 but man MJ you got absolutely destroyed on that dunk from Giannis 
Let's see if we can at least force game seven and we will. So it all comes down to this, a winner go home game seven and we get ran out the arena. We lost by 29 points. Jordan Poole had 29 in this one. Mike with only 10 points. Overall, a good playoff run, but in the biggest game of our season, he did not show up. He even had seven turnovers. And Dame time, 37 points in this one. And unfortunately in the offseason, the Washington Wizards front office has let us down once again. We need to get Mike a legitimate second star that he can play alongside of. And currently in Washington, we don't have that. With Jordan up to a 94 overall though, he definitely can turn it up a little bit more for us this season. So I guess we'll find out if MJ can carry us all the way to a championship. Season number three is wrapped. Victor Wembanyama wins MVP. I feel like it'll only be a matter of time before Mike gets his hands on the award. MJ did make all NBA first team this season. Pretty similar numbers to last year. The assists were up and the efficiency was down. And we won 46 games on the season. We did end up picking up Miles Turner on a minimum deal. So he's a decent addition for us for sure. And in round number one, we got the Atlanta. Atlanta Hawks we're down three to two and we lose in six Mike had a good first round but it wasn't enough hopefully we got some cap space this summer to sign somebody good it looks like we did throw an offer to a free agent it's Jamal Murray a three-year 108 million dollar deal maybe we didn't have enough money for some of the bigger names like Kevin Durant I mean he is 38 maybe we just didn't want to pay him that much I think Trey Young would have been cool too, but I'm not going to complain if we land Jamal Murray. We didn't land Jamal Murray. The front office is selling, man. Oh my goodness. Did we pay the Jamal Murray money to Miles Turner? I think we gave Kuzma, Tyus Jones, and Miles Turner the Jamal Murray money. We might also thrown some to Cam Johnson. I mean, we got cool role players around Mike, but man, it would have been nice to have another guy who you could trust to go get you a bucket. I think Jamal Murray could have been that type of player. But you know what, Mike? You're just going to have to go into overdrive this season and have the best year of your career so far. Another season in the books, Chet Holmgren wins MVP and Michael Jordan wins DPOY. There you go, Mike. That's a big award added to the resume. Also, MJ made all NBA first team and the Wizards won 46 games. Good enough for the three seed in the Eastern Conference. In round number one, we got the New York Knicks and we take them down in five. All right, we're moving on to round two against Toronto. They picked up Paolo Boncaro. I like that addition. Game one of the series goes to them. We're going to win game two. They win game three. We take game four. And we take game five. And they're going to take game six. Setting up a winner go home game seven. Conference finals trip on the line. And in game seven, it looked like it was all over for us. But we've mounted a fourth quarter comeback. We've outscored them 35 to 17 in the fourth. And now we've got a two point game with about two minutes to go. Raptors have possession of the ball. They're going to give it in to Paolo Boncaro. Boncaro is defended by Kuz. He goes to the basket and gets the layup to go. So now the Raptors lead is grown to four points. Mike, we need you to answer. Jordan working on Markel Fultz gets the screen from Kuz. Jordan to the basket and he dunks one home. There we go, MJ. Now we're within two points. Markel Fold's gonna give it down to Boncaro. Boncaro working on Kuzma, puts up a layup and misses. Kuz grabs the board and gives it up to Denny Avdia. Avdia gonna swing it right to Michael Jordan. MJ gets the ISO on Folds. He's trying to back him down. He's gonna swing it to White. Now it goes to Lou Dort. Dort over to Avdia. Avdia's gonna ball fake. He swings it back to Dort. Dort has it. Not much time left. He goes to the basket, puts up an awkward shot and misses. Raptors grab the rebound. It's gonna go up to Emmanuel quickly. IQ with it. He's gonna swing it over to Boncaro for a three ball. Boncaro misses and Michael Jordan grabs the rebound. Mike, do not pass this basketball. Call your own number and go get a bucket. Jordan at the top of the key here working on Markel Fultz. He steps it back, gonna fake a couple times. He's kind of trapped here. He swings it up to Whitehead. Whitehead's layup is good. We are all tied up here, about 33 seconds to go. Raptors have possession of the ball. Paolo Boncaro is gonna get the screen from Scotty Barnes. Boncaro has room from three and he misses. It's rebounded by Lou Dort. We call timeout. We're gonna have a chance for the last shot. 
I do not want to see a Kyle Kuzma game winner right here. I want to see the ball in Mike's hands with the game on the line. Here we go. MJ has the ball. Mike's going to wait a second before he makes his move. We don't want to give the Raptors time to get a good shot off. But now, Mike's going to have to do something. He gets the screen from Turner. Jordan pulls the mid-range and misses. Raptors grab board and call timeout. 1.1 seconds to go. That was such a clean look for Mike, and he ended up missing. Now the Raptors could game us. Jakob Pertl is inbounding. He's going to give it into Boncaro. Boncaro for three, and it's good at the buzzer. A heartbreaker to end our season. Paolo Boncaro was bricking from three in the clutch. But when it mattered most, he came through the buzzer beating three for Paolo Boncaro to send the Toronto Raptors to the conference finals. A devastating loss as Boncaro had 41. Mike had 36, but it's not going to be enough. We're out of here. Mike was having such a good playoff run too. Unfortunate, it had to go to waste. And this summer, we didn't really make any notable additions. So again, it's all going to be on Mike. Another season in the books, and this year, the Washington Wizards disappointed. Congrats to Mike for winning DPOY and everything, but guess what? We didn't even make the play-in tournament. 36 wins on the season. We traded for D'Lo, which is cool, I guess. Oh, we also traded for Desmond Payne. Oh, we were out there making moves. Why did we trade Miles Turner for D'Lo? D'Lo's kind of old. Desmond Bain's a cool pickup, though. He's on the last year of his contract, which is definitely something to consider. I don't really know what the Wizards front office is doing, but maybe it'll all pan out in the end. Now, since we didn't make the playoffs, we do have a lottery pick. We're going to be picking at number 12. We added NBA legend Dalton Mullen. He's 23 years old coming into the league. I'm guessing he's not going to help too much, with all due respect. And we lost Desmond Bain, who we traded for. MJ, you got three years left on that contract. After that deal expires, please get out of here. Bold prediction, we win seven games this season. Another season in the books, and this year was tragic. Mike won DPOY, but he wasn't guarding anything. Let me tell y'all, we won 24 games. Please give us the number one pick, 2K. Oh my gosh, we got the sixth pick. We drafted Brooke Nash. I mean, he looks okay. 77 overall point guard, 19 years old. And now we're about to head into another season. Don't worry, guys. Bobby Portis is here to save the day. Season is wrapped. Cooper Flag wins the MVP award. Michael Jordan, another DPOY. But those DPOYs are about all MJ has going for him. We won 29 games. Wait, hold on. Our team might have been doing something this year, though. We got Rob Dillingham. We traded Denny of Dia in a first for Rob Dillingham. I don't mind that at all. That was a good move. We also got Colin Sexton, who's on a minimum. We got a couple guys on minimums here, so they'll probably just leave us. But I kind of like the duo of Mike and Rob. Let's just get one more guy, make that a big three, and boom, we'll be in business. Also, we could have a top pick in the draft since we were so bad. No, we traded our pick. Oh my gosh. Hopefully Washington's front office can come through for me in free agency though. Oh my gosh, Mike. Yeah, it's time to get out of here, man. You got one year left on that contract. You gotta leave after this. I don't care if we got Rob Dillingham. Look at the rest of the team, bro. Let's get into another year. We'll probably win like 30 games like usual. Another season in the books. Man, Dylan Harper's got about a million MVPs. Mike's got about a million DPOYs. But unfortunately, those DPOYs aren't moving the needle in the wins column. 27 dubs on the season, and Michael Jordan is about to enter free agency this summer. And I know Mike loves to win, so there's no way he's thinking about staying in Washington. Let's go! He's gonna leave! Washington was offering more money, but Mike didn't care. It looks like he's going to Denver. Now, I don't know who the Nuggets have right now, but it can't be as bad as Washington. You're kidding me, no! Bro, what? It told me he was going to the Nuggets. They re-signed Jokic instead. Oh my gosh, please tell me we picked up somebody. Oh, don't worry guys, we picked up Willie Oliver. I'm losing hope in this team, man. I can't lie to y'all. Three more years of Mike in Washington. It's getting bad, man. We missed the playoffs again. This year, Mike didn't even win the DPOY. He made All-NBA second team, which is cool and everything. 
But bro's pushing 30 at this point, and he hasn't seen the playoffs in forever. And for some reason, our team traded quite a few of our picks, so now that we're bad, we don't even have a chance to add young talent. I mean, we do have some guys on the team getting better. Maybe we can manage a play-in spot. We paid this guy $190 million? Teresa Robinson averaged nine points per game. The rebounds are cool and everything, you know, eight rebounds, five assists, nine rebounds, five assists, whatever, right? And we paid him $190 million. I've seen enough. Disband the franchise. Move it to Alaska. Do something. And Michael Jordan, I'm not going to lie. Here's what gave me the idea for this video. I've been seeing people talking about, oh, Michael Jordan in today's game, he just be Jalen Brown. He doesn't have a left hand for real. Michael Jordan, you know, this and that. And I was like, nah, that, that can't be true. Michael Jordan's a hooper. You know, I was watching some videos, seeing some of the highlights. Bro could definitely dribble with his left hand, right? We're 0-13 right now. Maybe he can't dribble with his left hand. This is terrible. But I've been seeing all these takes from people talking about how bad bad 90s basketball was and everything and obviously i wasn't around back then to watch the game on a daily basis or anything but i feel like it's crazy to hate on a different era of basketball sure the talent has evolved since that time there are things that players do now that they didn't do in the past, right? I mean, the cross tween tween hezzy into the pull up half court three, that's not really something you saw back in 1984. But those players were really good in their own right, and they paved the way for the game to be what it is today. A lot of people don't know this, but there were a lot of problems going on in the NBA when Magic and Bird entered the league, right? But their rivalry rekindled interest in the NBA and is what kept the league alive. The NBA was actually close to folding. So before you go around hating on the players who played back in the day saying, oh, Michael Jordan today would be Karis LeVert, Hakeem Olajuwon would be more like Bismack Biombo. let's just appreciate the old school players and realized that for their time they had a lot of talent and let's say Michael Jordan was born in 2003 or something right his love for the game combined with all the modern technology we have his great athleticism his ability to compete he would have became a great player I think but that's the end of my rant. We're still garbage at basketball. We'll get to the end of the season. Another season in the books. No DPOY or MVP for MJ. Mike didn't even make all NBA this year, man. It's getting tragic. 31 wins on the year. Oh my gosh, we got Jalen Brown. I was just talking about Jalen Brown, man. We had him on the team on a minimum. If we didn't start off the season this year like 0-16, we might have been able to do something because we were kind of decent after that. But man, 0-16 is crazy. We did have the eighth pick this year. We picked up Donta Watson. And now we're headed into another season. Mike is on the last year of his deal. And I'm going to make the executive decision to force him to leave Washington after this contract is up. They've proven that they are not good at putting a good basketball team around him. And Mike remaining loyal to this team at this point would just be stupid. So I'm going to let him move on to his next squad. Another season in the books. And finally, Michael Jordan will have his chance to leave Washington. Mike, you do not have to play for this garbage franchise anymore. It's time to go. And I don't care if he wants to resign. Like I told y'all, I am forcing him to leave this team. And Michael Jordan went to the Atlanta Hawks. Finally, he has a good team. He's playing with Mac Taylor, Stefan Cassell, and Bryce James. Oh, Mike's about to cook this season. Let's get into it. I'm hyped. Season is wrapped, and MJ's teammate, Mac Taylor, won the MVP. So Mike might just be playing second fiddle over in Atlanta. He did make All-NBA second team this year, averaging about 23 a game. And we won 66 games. So the team's success was incredible from this squad this year. We've got a great starting five. Headed into round number one, we're going to be taking on the Brooklyn Nets. And we beat them in five. Round two, we got the Philadelphia 76ers. We also beat them in five. Conference finals, we got the Knicks. And it looks like Mike might just make his first finals, but he's going to have to earn it. We're headed to a game seven against New York. In my mind, there's no doubt about what team is better, but the Knicks have made it all the way to this game seven. So we got to lock in and get this win. Oh my goodness. We lost by 40 
in game seven. And the New York Knicks went on to win the chip. So if we would have won that game seven, we probably would have went on to win the championship. Mike was so close to making his first ever finals, but he couldn't do it. The good news is heading into this upcoming season, we've kept the entire core together. So I think we should be really good. Another season in the books, Cooper Flag wins MVP, Koa P DPOY. Mike had that really long run where he was winning a bunch of DPOYs, but he can't do it anymore. This year, he only averaged 20 points per game. That is a career low at only 33 years old. Also, Mike made all defensive second team and we won 66 games. I think that's the exact same amount as we won last year. Round number one, we got the Washington Wizards, Mike's former team, and we cooked them. Round two, we got the Chicago Bulls. It's a two to two series. We win game five and they win game six, setting up a winner go home game seven here against Chicago, a pretty solid squad. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my goodness, we're gonna lose again in game seven. We lost by almost 30 points. 26 from Mike is not gonna be enough. And at this point, Michael Jordan is starting to regress at 33 years old. It's now or never for Mike. We gotta win a championship and soon. Now another one of Mike's teammates, Stefan Cassell, wins the MVP. Wembenyama on the Lakers. Mike did not make all NBA this season. He didn't even make all defense. We did win 68 games though, which is the highest win total since Mike came to Atlanta. So let's take advantage and go get this chip. Round one, we make easy work at Toronto. Round two, we do the same to New York. It's two to two in the conference finals against Chicago. We're gonna take a three two lead and we win in six. Michael Jordan finally makes his first NBA finals. He was even named the conference MVP. But can MJ finish the job on the biggest stage against a tough Rockets team? We're about to find out. Game one of the series goes to Houston. Game two is gonna go to us. Rockets take game three, we take game four. All right, we need this game five win. All tied up here, less than two minutes to go. The biggest game so far of Michael Jordan's NBA career. Ball's gonna go into Cooper Flag. Flag going to the basket for the layup and he gets it to go. So now the Rockets have a two point lead. Currently Mike is not checked in the game for the Atlanta Hawks. MJ's not fouled out though, so we should see him coming in shortly. Stefan Cassell, the league MVP, has the ball at the top of the key. He's gonna get the screen at the foul line, float one up and miss, get his own board. He's gonna fake a couple times, swing it over to Garrett. He puts up a floater, misses. Rockets secure the rebound. Williams gonna give it up to Cooper Flag. Flag down to Williams. It goes to Carrington, back to Flag. Cooper Flag's gonna slow things down a bit. He gets the screen from Jabari Smith Jr. Cooper Flag going to the basket here, spins. He's gonna swing it over to Jabari again. And we bailed him out with the foul. We were playing such good defense. Jabari hits his first free throw. Second one for Jabari is also good. So now we are down by four. MJ just checked in. All right, Mike, let's see what you got. We really need a bucket right here. MJ at the foul line, working on Shepard. Mike gonna fake, go up with the layup and miss. Now Cooper Flag's moving in transition for Houston. Flag gonna get it poked away. Now Michael Jordan has it. Fast break opportunity here for the Atlanta Hawks. Jordan working on Shepard. Mike trying to back his man down, gets the screen here. Jordan gonna swing it over to Cassell. Cassell gonna ball fake, he gets the screen. Cassell almost pulled it, but swung it to the big who got fouled. We kinda got bailed out by that foul right there. First shot for our big man is good. Second one for Kursov is off and we're down by three. All right, so we've got to get a stop here so that we can have a chance to tie the game with the three ball. Cooper Flag has it. Flag's being smart. He's going to waste some time here. He doesn't want to give us much time to get a good shot off. But he's going to swing it over to Carrington now. Not much time left on the shot clock. Carrington, it, and he throws it away. All right, Cassell has it. He Not much time left. It's going to go up to Bryce James. Open three. He sold. Oh my goodness, that me stuttering crazy because all these different things were happening at once but then Bryce James missed the three ball come on Bryce we needed that man all right we're gonna be facing elimination in game six we're hanging on to our season by a thread here down by seven with about a minute to go we need a bucket Cassell has it here 
Cassell's gonna get the screen, pull an open mid-range and knock it down. All right, that's a big bucket. Mike's not in, but again, we're just waiting for him to check in. He's not fouled out. But in the meantime, we've gotta get some quick stops. Cooper Flag has it, he's gonna spin. Flag walks it back out to the three-point line, swings it over to Williams. Williams fakes, puts up a floater and gets it to go. We might be cooked here. Cassell bringing up the ball. Don't take any mid-ranges, man. We need a three. He's going to pull a mid. He missed. It's rebounded by Garrett, and he gets the tip in to go. Down by five. Less than 30 seconds to go. It's not looking good here. Yeah, we're going to choose to play the foul game. What are the odds Cooper Flag misses one? First one is good. Second one for Flag is also good. Down by seven, headed into the timeout. Unless we hit a three, we're done for, man. Ball's going to go into Michael Jordan. MJ going to swing it over to Taylor for a three, and he misses. Oh, my goodness, man. We're done. We're done. We're cooked. We lose in game six, and Michael Jordan in the modern NBA is just Chris Paul. 14 seasons in, zero. NBA championships. Mike's 34 and on the last year of his deal with Atlanta. Who knows if they'll re-sign him. So we've got to do something this year, man. Another season in the books. Mac Taylor wins MVP. Mike's teammates have been winning a lot of MVP awards. MJ did not make all NBA or all defense. We won 66 games though. Michael Jordan only 18 and a half points per game. Round number one, we got the Indiana Pacers. We sweep them. Round two, we got the Washington Wizards. We beat them in six. Conference finals, it's gonna be the Celtics. We're up three to one, and we beat them in five. All right, in the NBA finals, it's gonna be Ace, Bailey, and the Blazers. This team sucks. They're way worse than the Rockets, man. No way we lose. Game one goes to the Blazers. We're gonna win game two and three. Blazers win game four. Do not lose game five, man. That's where everything went wrong last series, but it looks like we're gonna get the win. Nice, Michael Jordan, 25 points, 11 assists. We just need one more, and MJ will win the first championship of his NBA career. And that win is not gonna come in game six, meaning that we've got a winner go home game seven here. NBA championship on the line for Michael Jordan. And unfortunately, we're gonna lose to the Portland Trail Blazers. Michael Jordan still doesn't have an NBA championship and he's set to enter free agency this summer. The Hawks have a lot of good players, so I don't know if they'll have the money to bring back MJ. We'll have to see. Oh, it actually looks like they do. The Wizards were trying to bring him back, but Mike wants to come back to Atlanta. Yep, MJ is back with the Atlanta Hawks, and Mike is down to a 90 overall. The supporting cast is getting older too. We've made the finals year after year, and every single time we've disappointed. It's time to get over the hump and win this championship because Mike might not have many more years left in his NBA career. Mac Taylor, another MVP. Michael Jordan didn't make all NBA or all defense and he averaged about 18 a night, the lowest point per game average of his career as we won 58 games, making us the two seed in the East. Round number one, we got the Brooklyn Nets. And we lost in seven. It's getting tragic for Michael Jordan, man. And now Mike is down to an 87 overall. I wonder if retirement is coming soon for MJ. It's crazy to me that Mike won six championships in his real life career and was six for six in the NBA Finals. And thus far in this video, MJ has zero championships. Another season in the books. We were the one seed with 58 wins. Mike averaged 18 and a half points per night. Let's see if we can make it back to the finals. Round one, we take down Brooklyn. Round two, we sweep Detroit and we're back. All right, we actually went to game seven against Philadelphia, but we beat them. And now we're in the finals taking on the Nuggets. They've got Isaiah Evans, but that's about it. They've also got Caleb Wilson. Not a bad team, but not better than ours. Game one of the series goes to Denver we'll win game two and three and four come on Mike one more win and we did it Michael Jordan is a champion he may no longer be the best player on his team but at least he finally got a ring now after the championship Stefan Cassell retired so that definitely hurts our team he was a key piece for the squad and also Mike is set to hit free agency this summer and it looks like Mike decided to stay with the Hawks but the team is old, man. Oh my goodness. 
we might go from champions to like playing because the squad's looking rough. Let's get into another season. Season is wrapped and they implemented one of those rule changes where the shot clock was like 30 seconds this year. So the scoring was way down. Ignore Mike averaging 12 points. We did end up winning 54 games though. We'll see if we can go back to back. I thought we were going to be a lot worse this season, but apparently we were still really good. We make it out of round one and round two when we get swept in the conference finals. I mean, not bad. A nice little conference finals run. MJ had six points in the last game, but it's all right. And after getting swept in the conference finals, Michael Jordan has retired. MJ ended up winning one championship, making 15 all-star teams, five all-NBA first team appearances, and probably the most impressive thing on his resume was the five DPOYs. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.